Welcome to Mojo Plays, and we're fighting our way into the Forbidden West to find the toughest new machines the Horizon sequel has to throw at us. For this list, we'll be looking at the newest machines to terrorize the many tribes of the Forbidden West and break them down for all the parts they're worth. We won't be mentioning the Apex versions since they're just overpowered variations of the normal machines. Mild story spoilers ahead. What was your favorite new machine in Horizon Forbidden West? Which one gave you the most trouble? Let us know in the comments below. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Leap Lasher. Starting with one of the smaller new machines in Forbidden West, the Leap Lasher's size belies their abilities. Much like the real-life kangaroos the Leap Lasher is based on, these things can be surprisingly aggressive and sometimes deadly to deal with. The Leap Lasher lives up to its title with its primary attack relying on leaping into the air and swinging its cargo pouch like an electrified yo-yo. Not only will this attack stun Aloy, but it will also cause her focus to malfunction leaving you vulnerable to additional attackers that she and the player can no longer detect. The Leap Lashers tend to fight in packs and are quick to call for reinforcements, so the faster you're either able to separate them or take them out without being noticed, the better off you'll be. Wide Maw Not only are hippos one of the deadliest mammals on Earth in real life, now thanks to Horizon Forbidden West, they're also one of the most difficult machines you'll fight as well. This encounter is usually best approached with caution, because just like real-life hippos, they're far more dangerous than they first appear. Despite their enormous size, they can be surprisingly fast, and even if Aloy attempts to put some distance between them, the Wide Maw will quickly dig up massive boulders to hurl at Aloy as she retreats. Once close enough, the Wide Maw will then attempt to hoover up Aloy and any surrounding debris into its massive jaws. But, this also leaves their weak point open to attack if you happen to be faster than their vacuum. Sky Drifter Patrolling the skies like an airborne watcher, the Sky Drifter is a far more advanced and dangerous version of the Glint Hawk veteran players are used to. While already an annoyance when airborne, it's the unnerving way this massive bird can run Aloy down on the ground that makes it dangerous no matter how you approach the fight. Equipped with a sonic blast to disorient hunters as well as a spin attack using its razor wings that can also spit fire, the Sky Drifter is not to be taken lightly. The new aerial traps make bringing the bird down to ground level substantially easier than before, but you still need to draw your prey in for it to be effective. The Sky Drifter can eventually be overridden, but even this can present a challenge, as upon liftoff, the Sky Drifter's jets explode with flames, scorching anything unlucky enough to be in the vicinity. Spectre Mild spoilers for this one. Still here? Okay, good. The Spectre sucks. By far the most futuristic machine Aloy encounters in the Forbidden West, the Spectres are most similar to the Corruptors from Zero Dawn in terms of speed and attack patterns. This thing can materialize weapons out of its armor plating which also covers the majority of its body, making targeting a weak spot nearly impossible. Taking on a lone Spectre is challenging enough, but when they attack in pairs, your best bet is to separate them and take them on one at a time. Acid is the best attack for lowering their defenses, and even then, this only seems to irritate them further. If given the opportunity, planning ahead of one of these battles is key, as starting the fight with an Acid Trap certainly gives Aloy an advantage no matter how slight. <sighs> Tide Ripper Mm. 
Move over, Snap Maw. There's a new terror of the deep. The Tide Ripper, much like the Thunderjaw, is based on a prehistoric dinosaur, in this case, a plesiosaur, and it's every bit as terrifying as it sounds. While absolutely unstoppable underwater, even the shores aren't safe as this thing drags its flippers into the sand. Being amphibious, naturally all of its attacks are purge water based and the rotating disc on its back spews a constant stream like a fire hose coating anything and everything in its way. Should long distance attacks from its dual water cannons on its head not be enough, the Tide Ripper is surprisingly nimble and will liberally attempt to crush Aloy under its enormous belly. Taking out the circulating disc should be the first priority, as it deals massive damage and can quickly turn the tide of battle in Aloy's favor. Tremor Tusk Just going from sheer size alone, the Tremor Tusk could probably easily take on a Thunderjaw, and you get to fight it with a bow. The Tremor Tusk is by far the most marketed of the new machines in Horizon Forbidden West, and rightfully so. Watching this mammoth machine come charging at you is enough to get even a seasoned hunter's blood pumping. Beyond its enormous size, the Tremor Tusk is quite literally armed to the teeth. Multiple cannons, a disc launcher that rivals the Thunder Jaws, and an electrical surge attack that can knock back any hunter that gets too close, the Tremor Tusk is a walking fortress. Thankfully, one of its main weak points is a target big enough to spot from across the map. If Aloy is able to hit the Tremor Tusk's underbelly, it will suffer massive fire damage that will continue to burn until the beast is finally felled. Dreadwing Remember in Zero Dawn when one of the most dangerous machines was the Stalker due to its ability to turn invisible? Well, what if it could fly? An enormous bat-like machine that could take on a Stormbird and win, the Dreadwing is the most dreaded new flying machine Aloy encounters in the Forbidden West. Besides its ability to go all Predator during the fight, the Dreadwing can deploy explosives as well as incapacitate Aloy with its piercing shriek. Grounding the Dreadwing doesn't make the fight any easier, as the Dreadwing has no problem getting up close and personal with powerful melee attacks from its enormous wings. Should Aloy be doing too well during the fight, the Dreadwing can even create some distance using its wings to generate an enormous gust of wind to send any would-be hunters across the map. Just like with vampires, fire is your best friend here. Shell Snapper. Nothing this big should be able to jump like that. A walking tank covered in armor, the Shell Snapper lies in wait for any hunters unlucky enough to cross its path. With its ability to submerge itself below ground and erupt into the air at any given moment, to stand still is to accept your fate. Primarily using chill water attacks to coat the arena in jagged ice crystals, the Shell Snapper can also absorb the numerous attacks from hunters and release all that energy back at them, taking out multiple attackers at once. With all of its armor plating, dealing a lot of damage can be difficult, forcing Aloy to chip away at its armor plating until you either land a lucky shot or get close enough to hit its underbelly. Slaughter Spine If the Thunderjaw was an intimidating presence in Zero Dawn, the Slaughter Spine is nightmare fuel. 
These walking hulks of spikes and claws are thankfully mostly found near the coastline, and given its wide range of sweeping attacks, the more open space for your battle, the better. The slaughter spine certainly lives up to its namesake, barely giving Aloy a break between its onslaughts. Its attacks are mostly plasma-based, covering the beaches with plasma traps and burning lines in the sand, forcing Aloy to constantly stay on the move. Its heavily armored plates make dealing significant damage almost impossible, meaning your best bet is to stay alive and chip away as best you can, or hope you can use one of its ejected spine launchers against it. Honestly, what I wouldn't give to see the Slaughter Spine and Thunderjaw go at it a la Jurassic Park 3. Slitherfang Really not a fan of this one. Impossibly fast for its size and quite literally armed to the teeth, the Slitherfang represents the ultimate challenge for any hunter brave enough to take it on. With its ability to coil around obstacles and then crush the debris to disorient the player, all while coating the battlefield in its acid spit, the Slitherfang immediately has the upper hand in any encounter. This isn't even mentioning its tail, which comes equipped with electric attacks that can call down lightning as well as send an electric shockwave rushing along the ground. The Slitherfang has very few weaknesses and will even adapt different strategies for dealing with Aloy depending on how much damage it has taken. Your best bet is to stay on the move and do whatever damage you can for as long as you can. Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays.